Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. I'm over at thefifthlaw.com, the-fifth-law.com. They're talking about a new proposed fifth law to thermodynamics. We'll go to the press release page for that law. No device can generate energy in excess of the total energy put into constructing it. So basically, a solar panel can't make more energy than the energy it was that was used to create that solar panel in the first place. I'll also use an example from food. They say that uh, it takes about 10 calories of fossil fuel energy to produce and ship one calorie of food to our plates. But it doesn't take into account all the energy that was used to create those fossil fuels, to create that oil. Using oil as an example, it's made out of organic compounds that are breaking down. The breaking down of those organic compounds takes a whole lot of energy in millions of years. The, uh, not to mention the sun put a ton of calories into producing those organic materials in the first place. So, and this was brought to my attention by a user in the comments of one of my videos called Sun Road. I imagine they are related to this project because they do propose a Sun Road. And here's what it is pictured. They say we need to produce enough energy to complete construction of fusion reactors so we can have a very efficient energy system in the future. They want to put these sun roads at latitudes where they call the magic latitudes, Australia and desert environments that have a whole lot of sunlight as a resource. It's a great idea and it's certainly an interesting idea that deserves debate. How much energy are we using to produce our solar panels, our wind turbines, our food that we eat? Indeed, how much energy are we using to just mine the fossil fuels out of the dirt? And how much energy did nature take to create those fossil fuels? I mean, silicon-based photovoltaic solar panels, you know, that silicon has to come from somewhere. Those minerals have to be mined from somewhere. The uh, glass has to be processed from somewhere. The electrical components, the copper wiring, all of it requires a lot of energy to both produce and shape and uh, bring to a finished product. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments below. Also, questions or ideas related to this. If you'd like to read more about it, I will link to this homepage in the description. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.